Okay, so this is a short overview of some of the features of Cafe Tran that I use on a regular basis. So this is the setup that you get when you open a new project. Um, it opens all of the resources that you've used on previous projects. Um, sometimes it opens both um, languages, sometimes it only opens um, the ones for the language that you want. Um, that is kind of annoying, but it's way outweighed by the benefit of having this integrated search bar. So you have the tabs with all of your search features, um, resources, and you can arrange them in different ways. You can put some of them down, which I don't particularly like, um, but you can do that. So these are all here for you to use. Um, you have your menu at the top, these buttons here, search your different things. So search your resources here, search your source, your target, your translation memory source, your translation memory target and your glossaries. Um, you can set different shortcuts for each of these. So I have control K for resources. Um, Control shift F2 for source and then so if we double click search source shows you everywhere it turns up in the source it's really good for things like context and checking whether um, acronyms are explained somewhere else um, so if we start this okay so if we want to search something, double click, highlight it. You can highlight more than one word, um, control K. And that should search all of your databases. So you can see it's here, should be on Lingua as well. Yes, good. Um, pros, yep. So you went, um, I mean, this is a really basic text. You don't need all these resources to translate this text, but it's just an example. So the other great feature of this is the predictive text. So I'll just type this in here. Um, click control enter to go on to the next segment. I'll just fill this bit out. I haven't put the tags in, but when you put the tags in, you just enter the number and click escape. So it's really easy to do. So imagine I had a similar one before. If I start typing, it comes up with options of things that you've typed for. So this is really good if you have names of organisations or specific phrases that come up over and over again. One thing to be aware of, and then you just click up and down to pick them or press the number. For more information, uh, I'll need instructions. Please click here. Okay, so it's that straightforward. The predictive text is pretty good. Be careful because if you enter typos, the typos will be replicated in the predictive text because it's based on what you have typed before. Quite a useful tool. You have your match board here. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not so great. Project terms you can enter, you can set up glossaries, translation memories, and import them here. If you want one file, if you want to set up a folder with multiple files, then it's pretty much the same for the glossaries. You can see project statistics. So it gives you some information about translated segments and translated segments and you can update that, how long you've spent on the project, not very long. Um, but really the main thing I wanted to show you was this, so let's go here, control K, see if it's come up, yep. Yeah. So this for me is the best thing, you can just click between these windows really easily. You can even just copy and drag across if there's 
for example, chunks of official translation that you want to put in and you can set up the search to search for that in a bilingual format. That could be really good. The one thing that annoys me about the resources is you can't just right click and open all of them at once. You have to open them one at a time. But it opens the ones from the previous project anyway. And then when you're finished, you can export as a um, bilingual document, bilingual document notes, um, and then check it, import it back in, export. It's really, really simple. Search and the predictive text. So I just wanted you to be able to see what that search bar looks like. You can zoom in as well on the search bar. That was out. Zoom in, make the text bigger here. You can't do that here, which is slightly irritating. So I hope you found it useful to see how the search function works. I find it really useful. It's one of the major benefits over some of the other assisted translation software. Thanks for watching.